Guys and girls, good morning to you. Welcome back to another episode of A Day in the Life, episode number three. I feel like these Thursdays just roll around pretty quickly. The week and the month and the year is just flying by. It's a good one today though. I've got plenty to get done, so I'm glad you're coming along for the ride. I'm going to go to a few op shops early morning, which I always do, and I've got my coffee, so I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I'm hoping to find some really good items. I don't want to just buy for the sake of it. I want to buy some real crackers and just pass on anything that's not at that level. Um, so hopefully we find that. There is an eBay listing day today where you've got unlimited listings. So I really want to get back to the house this afternoon and list a bunch of items, but I want to get the fun stuff done first. And I want to go and get some cool stuff to post. So let's get into it. First up shop. I'm pretty excited. Come on. The first op shop has has done pretty well. I'm I'm pretty happy with the first stop. I've, it's one of my favourites actually for clothing. These guys do a really good, um, you know, really good brands. I always find them at a pretty good price. Um, I bought a few pieces of clothes. I won't show you all of the clothing because I've bought quite a number, um, but I've got a few. The first one that I've got is. We've got a Ralph Lauren polo shirt. So I only sold one of these earlier this week for $50. Um, this one might not go for exactly the 50, but I might get 30 or 40. So I paid $7 for that one. So that was a really good get. I saw that straight away. The next one was a very similar to that, um, an RM Williams. So RM Williams, really good brand over here. Um, you know, good quality material, good quality make. That one is gonna go pretty quick. Um, Next, I've got a pair of board shorts. So the board shorts were only $5. That was a really quick win. Um, now, my favorite brand, as you guys know from past episodes, RVCA or Rivka. As soon as I see this brand, I buy. If you're in the op shops and you find that brand, that's that's just a money maker. Um, bought a few golf polos, because the golf polos sell pretty well. I buy for about seven, sell for about 15, but they go really quick. Board shorts are the same. Here's some more board shorts. I mean, this brand is Brixton. Brixton's a really good brand. If you guys see this, um, jump in and get the Brixton brand because that works really well. Um, I mean, they're $5, but I'll, I'll flip them for 15 on Facebook Marketplace pretty quick, especially here on the Gold Coast. Everyone's getting in the water, so the board shorts go really well. Um, oh, these were Nikes as well, so I found the Nike brand. Whenever I find Nike, I'll always strike. These are a size large, but a really cool pair of board shorts. They should sell really well. Um, great material actually with those. So look guys, I bought a heap of clothes. I'm pumped with that. But this that I found at the checkouts that I think might make me some money. So I've got the Twilight Barbie Dolls pink label. It's a 2009 Mattel Twilight series Barbie doll. Not only that, I found five of them. Twilight again, that one is Bella. Twilight again, Victoria. Um, I've got Alice as well. So these were all on the rack behind the counter. So clearly, obviously a collectible item. They don't want to list it on the shelves. So you know it's going to be worth a little bit of value. So I needed to act quick because I was at the checkouts and what I ended up doing was I did a quick Google um, eBay comp search. I'm gonna throw them up here for you to have a bit of a look at, but I really do think with these five toys, I could probably make about $200. Now, what did I pay, you ask? Well, I paid $13 per doll. Um, so $13 for a doll, when they average a cost of around $40 or $50 on eBay, I'm pretty excited. It was a really late find, just as I was leaving, I had to act quick, I did a quick comp search and it came up with the goods. So, 
Look, spent a bit of money in the first shot, but man, we've got some really good items. So let's keep moving. We'll go to number two and we'll see how we go. All right, guys, where I'm going to take you now is a little part of heaven. There are four op shops right next to each other. So we're going to jump into each one. We're going to see what we can get. I've just had a good start. Um, I've been able to find, I think, 14 or 15 items now um, for about $9 each. So hopefully these next four can get us some gems as well. Let's go. Alright guys, uh, I'll show you what I got. It was only, like I said, it was only the three or four op shops that I went into and I got three items. I was really happy with these. These are going to do really well. Uh, like I said in past videos, I'm a long distance runner myself, do a lot of road running, so I'm always big on the ASICs shoes. Um, if you haven't bought any ASICs before and tried to flip them, you're going to make some money. So if you find ASICs in the op shop, get them. These are Hokers. Um, Hokers are a really good like triathlon type running shoe. Really unique shape to them. Um, obviously a lot of padding for a lot of like long distance marathon type running. Um, so Hoka is a great brand. Um, these exact shoes are selling on eBay. I had a look at the comp searches. I'll put them up here for you now, but they were at around the 30 to 40 to $50 mark. And look, the, the soles on these, that's a little bit worn. So I don't, I don't like looking at that. Obviously nobody does when they're buying secondhand, but I still think there's enough wear and tear in these to actually get a good result out of them. So I pay $10, um, I'll get a whole lot more than that. So I'm happy with that. And then thank you very much to the YouTube community, the Instagram community, the guys that I've been speaking to, the girls I should say that I've been speaking to, um, because I wouldn't have bought these without you. I have found two pairs, just that, women's tights. These are Calvin Klein Performance quick dry size small uh, leggings or tights. I'm very new to this space, but um, I'm slowly getting my bearings. And thanks to the advice around Lorna Jane, I know that's a really good brand now. And I found some Lorna Jane's women's leggings. I think these are like three quarter leggings. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing, but I bought them. Um, so these, I'm gonna have to work out the size because I think the tag's been cut off on them. So I might have to get my sister to try them on and give me a bit of a rough gauge on what the price might be. Um, so two pairs of leggings, a pair of shoes. I bought about 15 items in the first op shop and then I went into four op shops and I only bought three items. So it is all over the place. You gotta spend a bit of time in each one and sift through it all because you never know how many you're gonna get, get out of each op shop. Um, Ironically, the last op shop I was in, I've actually just found this um, sale on my phone when I got back. So I've sold these Nike shoes for $65 and I found them in that last op shop about a week ago. So I'm really pumped to get back in the car and see a sale come through. This is off Facebook Marketplace, but he wants them posted up to North Queensland. So I'll, uh, I'll go home this afternoon. I'll get to the post office. I do have another item that I've got to get to the post office as well today. So we'll do a trip to the uh, post office this afternoon. Uh, so let's shoot back home and get back into it. Facebook Marketplace, it's about 2.30, a free desk for the office, a much bigger desk. So check it out, bought this guy. Well, I say bought, it was for free. And I used to use this little guy. So he's now gonna come out. I'm gonna put him on Facebook Marketplace for 50, paid 35. I only had it for a couple of weeks. And I think this desk would just provide a bit more of a better workspace, a lot more space to get the job done. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'll flip the small desk and get the bigger desk for free. All right, guys. So I'm off to the post office. It's been a pretty big day. Sorted out the office, got the desk in, which was good. Did a lot of listing this afternoon. Um, so I got a, a lot of items up. I'm really trying to cash in today and tomorrow on the free listing days. 
Um, we're off to the post office. I sold an Amani exchange jacket. Um, so the jacket sold for a total of $65, including postage. I paid $8 at an op shop, so I'm really happy to get that sale done. And the second item was these um, Nike Shocks uh, pair of shoes. So they sold today to a guy that's uh, basically up in North Queensland, been able to sell them for $65, including postage as well. So all in all, you know, two really good sales there for $130. The shoes I ended up paying $15 for. So $23 worth of cost, sold for $130. I've made 100 bucks there. Um, so I need to get to the post office and make sure they get off in time. But um, there's a lady actually when I get back home that's buying a desk off me. So obviously you saw that I upgraded and I got a new desk. Well, I've already put that new desk on and I've already got a lady coming. So she wants to buy it. I ended up listing it at $40. Um, I really wanted to list it. I was thinking about listing it at $50. But I just figured to get it out the door, get it out of the house, let's just put it at 40. I only paid 35 for it. It wasn't really a flip item, but that really just goes to show that you can actually flip things. Even if you don't have the intention to do it, always buy at the right price and you'll make your money back on the return. All right, guys, so I'm just heading back home. Just finished off at the post office. I did just want to make a quick mention that I've set up a My Business account with Australia Post. What it's doing is for the next eight weeks, it's saving me 30% on my postage. Um, just because I'm going to be you know, obviously posting regularly with them. So for those in Australia and anyone around the world, go into your postal service and just ask if you can set up a My Business account. Just ask what they can do for you because I didn't know about this and because I was going in there pretty regularly, they said, did you want to set up this 30% discount rate? And I said, well, yeah, absolutely. I knew nothing about it. Um, so really for those in Australia, definitely go in. If you haven't done so already, I'm sure a lot of you already have. Um, but for anyone else around the world, just go into your postal service and see if you can set something up through a business account because it'll obviously save you a bit on postage. I'm now saving 15% on every parcel that I send out, um, certainly at least for the next eight weeks on a special promotion. So yeah, helps to ask a question and just find out if you can get a better rate. So that just about wraps it up, guys. We've had a pretty big day. Got out to the op shops, bought about 20 items. So I've got to still list those. I've been doing my best this afternoon, but with that desk coming in, I've had to really stall that process. So the last thing I want to do is go to bed tonight without one, a video going out to you guys to tune into, um, but also to get all these listings done. I'm going to do it all day tomorrow because it ends tomorrow at midnight, this eBay promotion. So I'm going to get straight onto it. Um, hope you've enjoyed the episode. Um, if you're liking these sorts of videos, obviously let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button. I'm going to be keep doing these three videos a week, educational on Tuesday, Thursday for a day in the life, and then Sunday for the what solds. Um, so if that sounds something like uh, what you might be interested in, obviously hit the subscribe and the like button to show your support. But uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. I look forward to catching you in the next one. Appreciate it.